Now that we understand why we might need a piggyback tuning device, let's take a closer look at the Power Commander 6 itself. This little box is its sixth generation of Dynojet's long-running fuel controller series, and it's packed with features designed to make tuning accessible to you. Let's start with the basics. Size and mounting. PC6 is small. It's about the size of a deck of playing cards and is weather resistant. It ships in with Velcro or dual lock strips inside the box so you can mount it on or near your bike's ECU depending on harness routing. This kit includes a USB cable for connecting to your laptop, decal zip ties for securing the wiring harness, and an alcohol swab to clean surfaces before you adhere anything or stick it down in your vehicle. When installed, the unit becomes part of your wiring system running through your vehicle, but it remains removable. So what can it do? The Power Commander 6 has fuel adjustment. The PC6 allows you to add or subtract up to 15% fuel at any point in the RPM and throttle position range. That might sound like a lot, but it reflects how precise modern tuning needs to be. If your bike is lean at mid RPM cruise, you might only need to add two to 3% fuel to take care of that. If your new high flowing exhaust makes it run lean, lean at high RPM, you need to add even more fuel there. The PC6 gives you the ability to fine tune across the entire map. Ignition adjustment. On models where ignition control is supported, you can advance or retard timing up to eight degrees. Advancing timing can improve throttle response, add mid-range power, or even top end power to gain that ultimate power number. Retarding it may help with that nation control or smooth out power delivery in that lower region running lower octane fuel even. Not all bikes allow ignition control through the PC6, so check the product description for your model. Next up, per cylinder and per gear tuning. If your engine has multiple cylinders, say with different characteristics, one might run hotter than the other, the PC6 lets you tune each cylinder separately. Beyond that, if you wire in a gear position signal, you can alter the fuel delivery to change for each gear. That's especially useful for bikes where gearings load the engine more at varied RPM or for race bikes that spend a lot of time in a particular gear. Let's keep going. Dual map storage. The Power Commander 6 stores two independent fuel maps simultaneously. You can switch between them on the fly using a simple handlebar switch. For example, map one could be tuned for premium pump gas, while map two is tuned for race fuel or when you're on nitrous on the drag strip. One map might prioritize fuel economy and switching to the other is for full high performance. Switching happens instantly with no need to connect to a laptop. Accessory inputs and outputs. The terminal strip of the Power Commander 6 contains screw terminals for inserting our accessories. You can wire in a quick shifter, which senses pressure on your shift lever and tells the PC6 to cut fuel ignition or both for a millisecond, allowing you to shift without the clutch. There's an analog input for things like a pressure signal or an engine temperature sensor, which can then be leveraged to alter fueling delivery on that analog signal. There's a speed input, so PC6 can calculate gear position if the bike doesn't already provide it. This is also helpful for a pit lane speed limiter if you need to stay at a certain speed. And then there's even launch control. With a button on your handlebar, the PC6 can limit engine RPM for consistent launches. All of these configurations are altered in PowerCore, Dynojet's tuning software for Windows. Plug the PC6 into your laptop, turn the bike's ignition on to power the module, and you'll see live data. Edit maps, send them back and forth to the device. Lastly, a note about legality. Power Commander line of products is legal until it's not. <laughs> Lastly, a note about legality. In some states, the Power Commander 6 might not be legal to be used on a street registered vehicle, especially if it modifies emissions or if the device does not ship with an EO. Always check your local laws and consider whether you'll ride primarily on track or off-road before installing one.